Hello everyone, my name is Matt and I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at creating a black hole with Octane Render. I was searching online for some tutorials maybe to find out how to create one and I haven't really come across any on YouTube so I was poking around in the Node Editor and I figured out uh, a way to do it. Um, I was actually creating, wanted to create a black hole for one of the projects that I'm using for the channel. Um, some more or less some graphics for the to the channel uh, so that's the reason for creating the black hole in the first place so I just got to share uh, yeah share my process of how I created mine uh, so first thing first uh, I'm just gonna change that and this is mainly gonna be in blender octane uh, so where I'm gonna go first is straight over here to the shader view. I'm assuming you already have some knowledge in how to set up Octane. There are a couple of tutorials online to show you how to do that. But I'm just gonna create a GRI or image uh, to view the black hole. So I just gotta go here and use this. And this is gonna be our background. Just gonna change the gamma to two, the one. Sorry, and yeah. So I'm gonna turn off these because you don't necessarily need them. And then I'm gonna use an icosphere. Just gonna zoom in a little bit, and we want the subdivisions to be around seven. It doesn't might really matter. That's it. It still looks blocky, but that's because we have to turn off and turn back on to load it back into the the video card. And yeah, so now we're going to be making the black hole. So what we're going to need is we're actually going to need a universal material for this. And the process is quite simple. We just need to use a fall off node and a Gradient, gradient texture. We're gonna turn the just zoom in closely so you guys could see. But we're gonna turn on the transmission and the albedo to, to black, so we're gonna get a glass material, and then we're gonna remove the roughness. Right, as you can see, we have a glass material right here. We're gonna change it from Octane to GGS and that's just gonna make it a little bit more realistic. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom and enable fear shadows. Alright, so most of the settings that we're gonna do are gonna be in these two nodes here, the fall off, which is similar to the Fresnel, and the gradient texture. So in starting we're gonna plug the gradient, the fall off into the gradient, and then the gradient into the dielectric IOR. And as you can see, we already started to get some weird behavior with the glass. So if I take this also and plug this into the transmission, nothing is going to happen yet. But that's going to become clear quite soon why you did that. So we're going to move this all the way there. And then we want to tear down the fall off skew to be about point, uh, point 0.2 would work. And if we zoom in, we could see we already get some of the warping. And then we're going to turn up a little bit of the normal. And that's just to get more bending on the, the, the angles. So you can see we are already starting to get that black hole look. But we have a little issue in that we have this. That is actually caused by the specular. So we just want to turn that all the way down. So if I plug this out right now, we're going to see that this is what we have if we don't plug it into the transmission. So this is why we also want to plug it into the transmission as well. All right, so some more tweaking, mainly in the color gradient and the gradient, sorry. We want to add another texture, another node, another tool, 
and we want to take this one here make sure that this is about 50% gray in the value and this one we could make another 100% So just right click that and make sure that it's smooth. And the further away we have that from the gray, the better it's going to be. So we have that. And to avoid these bands right here, we could actually take this closer to the black. But you could make it as stylized as you want. So as you can see, we already get the refraction from the black hole here. It's actually warping um, some of the materials that we have, the background that we have here. And again, we could always tweak that here. And again, take this closer to the black. So it's all about style and taste. Uh, so we could just zoom back out here. And again, we could make some changes to, to this if you want. If you indeed want to have So I'll leave that there, but no, but again, it's all stylized. If you want it to be more accurate, you can by just tweaking these seconds. By just showing you the basic settings that I use to get mines up and running. So I gotta leave that to be about here. That should be good because it's warping reality as it goes around. Now, we want to create the, the disk. So, turn back on these settings for now. We're going to add a circle. We're going to give this 128 segments. 128. And then we're going to tap and go into edit mode. We're going to scale it a little bit like this. And then we're going to hit E. Escape to cancel. S. We gotta scale it to a lot wrong. Here is fine. And then what we want to do is add some loop cuts in here. Control R and scroll to about around there. So now we could see we could have we have some kind of small squares in in the mesh. So what we gotta do is in this mesh we gotta go to the this place. We've got a new texture and we're gonna go to Orion Eye. It seems a little bit extreme now for the efficient disk, but we're gonna turn down the strength a little bit and then come back into the strength here and reduce it as well. So up around there, right click smooth, and then we're gonna go back in the texture and refine. We find that texture. So I think there is about fine. So go back to the modifiers. We're just going to add some thickness to this, not too much. So add a solidify and we're going to change the offset to zero so it could actually change on both. Because if you have this on one, it's actually just going to push strong on one side. If it changes to the plus one, it's going to change on the other. So I want it to do it on both sides at the same time. And the size of this would work. So that looks fine. And just make sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, so go back to this. We're going to add a new material to this one. And then the material, we actually want to make this a diffuse material. And the reason being is because we're going to be adding a emission texture to this. 
and emissions only works on diffuse materials or universal materials so we got to use that we got to turn off those again and as we could see we already have the warping of the accretion disk around the black hole already so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift a we're gonna go search uh just type in emission you could choose black body emission or texture but i'm gonna use black body for now i'm gonna plug this into the emission we have that and then what we want to do is ensure that we create a noise texture We're going to plug this noise texture into the distribution and also into the opacity. As you could see, it gives us that see through cloud. Again, we could play with the gamma and the contrast. The gamma is going to tell us how much of this to be in the actual. So we could turn it all the way off or we could turn it all the way on. So we just want to bring it back into effect. We could increase the Omega if you want to. And that's just the amount of detail. If you take it all the way down, we could see that we have kind of sharp, a more refined noise. The more you turn up the Omega, the finer the detail gets. So we just want to take that to about, you know, 0.5 ish. And then we could turn up the octaves a little bit as well not too much contrast a little bit and i think that that should be fine for now so let's crank up the brightness on this a little bit and then what we want to do is we want to go to n Go to Octane. We want to enable post processing. Override. And we're going to crank up the bloom to like 50% or 500. I mean 50, sorry. And that's just going to ensure that the black hole gets some bloom on it. When it's done, the rendering is actually going to do like that. So to add some color to the black hole or to the accretion disk, let me put it that way. We're going to add gradient, gradient texture. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a dark orange to this. So around here, then we're going to add plus, we're going to add another or a lighter orange in that ray and then here we're going to add a slight variation and then we could always come in here and tweak the levels of how we want it to look exactly so we have something looking like this i mean on this background is is making it a little bit difficult so what we could do and these are just images that you could actually find any images online um with a star feel or stuff like that that would work and to show you what i mean is we could go to space and these are some 8k i mean use some energy the resolution that you want but this one i'm going to use a 8k star feel that i found online with the galaxy so i'm going to use the milky way and here we go we could see the warping on the outside and again, you can refine that how you see fit. Let me zoom out. Let me let Octane render the bloom. You can actually see that we actually have a decent black hole here. So it's actually warping reality around it. Again, you could always come to the black hole and make your refinements. This was just a basic um, tutorial to show you how to do it in Octane because again, I haven't seen any much things online talking about it. 
at least on YouTube that is. So I decided to create one because I found out how to do it. And yeah, that's about it. So you could also refine the accretion disk with different displacements. You know, just have fun if you want to stylize it. So yeah, what I could do is to show you what I'm working on for the channel is actually something for when I'm streaming. Um, before I start the stream, I'm going to have the graphics there looping. So you could go to RGBE, don't save, and then we could go into shading. And this is what I was working on. So if I go into like that render, and as you can see, I have a stylized one here. This is actually a diamond inside a black hole. The diamond has dispersion on it. The black hole is actually reflecting the diamond and the accretion disk. So it's pretty stylized with this one. Again, if I come here, you're going to see practically the same thing. Universal, the only difference is, is that I don't have a transmission because if I use the transmission is actually going to black out the diamond so i actually wanted the diamond to be in the center and as you could see if i turn on these and i go out to object mode right now you're going to see the action this and the black hole itself so if i turn that off you can see the diamond is in the center so it's pretty basic I used utilize the technique that I was showing you all before, but except plugging this into the transmission, I actually removed it from the transmission in order to show the diamond in the center. And that's a more stylized black hole if you want. So go back to and zoom out. Yeah, so that's about it. This is just an animation, like the world spinning and the sunlight rising. So you can see as long as the, the sun rises, the lights are actually going off. If you would want a tutorial on that one, you could, add, you could let me know as well. I would break that down as well. Hope I made that, but yeah. That brings me to the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so till next time, see ya.